Super glue was basically invented to apply to the human body and to just have fun with it. Seven super glue tricks for you to try or maybe not. Now this might sound extremely insane, but it's actually not. It actually works very well. Fix wounds. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. To prevent it from opening up again, I will use super glue. Moving it is so painful. Okay, that should do it. Okay, so take this battery, then apply a bit of super glue right there, for example. That is so funny, I love it. No residue whatsoever, but the touch screen still works. That, this is amazing. Also, down here, more super glue, more baking powder. Oh my god, this worked way better than expected. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is tricks with super glue. So let's get it. By the way, all tutorials and life hacks right here. Watch them all about before we get started. Love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. As you can see, I stacked up on super glue. You can get them for 10 cents. A pop from China, super cheap. And yeah, it's basically all the same. No need to buy expensive super glue. There is only one important aspect when it gets to which stuff to buy, which glue to buy. Mostly you don't want any additives. You want the pure stuff and it's called Cyano Acrylate. That's it, Cyano Acrylate, right? Of course you never know what's in, in it like. You never know, but let's just hope for the best. Additives might be dangerous, especially if you go for, you know, kind of insane if you use them on your skin, for example. Anyways, no additives because they, they might be dangerous. So what I prepared are seven super glue tricks for you to try or maybe not. Anyways, let's just get right to it. So the first item on my list is fix wounds. Now this might sound extremely insane, but it's actually not. It actually works very well. Not on all wounds, of course, mostly on wounds that are caused with sharp objects like a knife. This is nothing for scrapes, abrasions, or a graze or something like that. I would not recommend this on a frayed edge. But you know, if you have a sharp knife and cut yourself, then this is the perfect application. I used it several times. I used it when I pierced my joint with the bit. I used it on several tinier knife wounds. I probably can't recommend it, but it's an interesting technique and it's very helpful because it will close the gap immediately. I'm also assuming that it's clean because knife wounds probably bleed quite a lot. This will clean the wound and also you can take a shower or anything like that. It's, wa it's watertight basically. It's water resistant, okay? Also it will fall off after a few hours. It will just fall off and you need to redo it basically if you want to keep it sealed. Yeah, and other than that, it's just important that you take the wound and close the gap. Keep it shut with a bit of pressure, then apply the super glue. You don't want the super glue to get inside the wound, just on top, just a bit to close the gap. And for this, it's just perfect. Next up is gluing stuff to your skin. It's fairly similar to the first point when you think about it. And as I said, after a few hours, it, the super glue will just fall off. So it's not that dangerous. It's stupid, but it's like, it won't end your life. I think. There are a lot of videos on YouTube where they, for example, glue a, you know, a cucumber-ish looking like object onto the forehead of someone. That's the reason why super glue was invented in the first place, by the way. So that's a nine volt battery right here. Let's just take a bit of super glue. Oh my God. They dry up so fast. That's it. That's it. This one was sealed, but still they dry up really fast. For sure a drawback. That's why I can definitely recommend to buy a lot of them in tiny containers. I used to own super glues in a bigger container. That's stupid because they just dry up. It's no use. I opened up this one a few days ago at most and oh yeah, it is completely dried up by now. Oh my goodness. Maybe I can cut open the container, extract a bit this way. Nope. Yes, I need to open up another one. It's not like I have a shortage of them. So here we go. Okay, so take this battery, just wipe it off, then apply a bit of super glue. Oh my goodness, that was quite a bit. Then you can, I don't know, like right there, for example. You can just glue stuff to your skin. That is so funny, I love it. Oh my goodness, I freaking love it. <laughs> that is the best thing ever. It's all good, It's it, it will come off eventually. Number three on the list is you can hide your fingerprints. Fingerprints are kind of nasty. Check this out, it, this is ridiculous. Let's give this a good wipe, hiding fingerprints. Uh, I probably won't get into why you want to hide your fingerprints, but 
you you can you can do it quite easily with super glue just apply a drop and then you have a bit of time to just you know smear it around don't wait too long because otherwise you will glue together your skin you don't want that i guess and this is how you can hide your fingerprints it feels like wax Ca wax you know ca candle wax and now oh my god this is amazing this is crazy no residue whatsoever oh my goodness this is so crazy but the touch screen still works that this is amazing check it out i can still use i can still use my phone and open up a, a snap or something like that so yeah super glue was basically invented to apply to the human body and to just have fun with it number four is you can feel cracks and this is actually oh my goodness this feels this is feeling so funny this could actually be a topic on its own but the thing is if you combine super glue with regular baking powder you will get a glassy substance that is really hard and yeah you can feel cracks with it i tried this on a tile in my bathroom well it's my mom's bathroom anyways but it didn't work as intended because as i said with baking powder and super glue you, you will get a almost transparent substance baking soda plus super glue is almost glass like that's what i wrote here you can feel cracks in wood if you use the sawdust of the given wood and super glue you can also use bone dust you can use various materials for that endless possibilities and i will get to more of that in a second number five is you can secure nuts and bolts but this is a stupid idea in my opinion i was probably in the workshop no that is stupid because super glue is really strong really 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 strong if you want to secure a bolt for example then there are way better substances or way better glues that you can use for that glues that have a given force well, that will have you apply a given force to loosen up the bolt again. Thread glues, that's what, what you call them, right? A thread locker, Loctite stuff. You know what I mean? Don't use super glue for that. You can use it if you want to basically fix it permanent, permanently, but yeah, not recommended whatsoever. Number six on the list is you can use super glue to fix tiny cracks in your display, in your phone display. Perfect example, this is a cheap, protective glass from China and as you can see maybe like right there it chipped pretty badly right here also up here and super glue if you just if you put a nice drop on here you can even try it with baking soda I will try it you can stop the spread quite a bit you might have to reapply it after some time keep it fresh basically but yeah it's another interesting application in my opinion okay now check this out baking soda on top right there Dab it in, also down here, more super glue, more baking powder, just like that, well that's actually kind of messy, but you get the point, wipe it clean and then you can take a tiny razor or something like that, as you can see it does work fairly good actually. Oh my goodness, it works way better than expected. Baking powder is amazing. Oh my god, this worked way better than expected. Previously, I used super glue, only super glue, but with the baking powder, it actually fills up the crack. Whoa, oh my god, check this out. This is actually amazing. Also, this one up here. So nice. I can do a better job. One second. I just redid this bottom spot right here. I'm not sure if it's a, well, it's probably a bit better. But anyways, I freaking love super glue. This is amazing. This is just so freaking cool. So stock up on super glue. And lastly, point number seven, uh, there it is. You can use super glue to pull out tiny splinters that you can see with your eyes. So far, I haven't tried it, but I... Uh, you can for sure remove tiny hairs as well. Uh, oh God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's like this this charcoal mask that the beauty youtubers use kind of reminds me of that so nasty dude just hairs though if you have other ideas more uses leave them below but other than that that's enough progress for today smash that like button the way super glue can fix your smashed screen screensaver that was not a proper proper okay whatever bang the bell like crap pop. Never miss life hack vlogs. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.